Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present study simulates airflow within a supersonic convergent divergent nozzle and examines the behavior of airflow separated from the nozzle in the surrounding environment and shockwave. The present study simulates airflow within a supersonic convergent divergent nozzle and also the shock wave. In order to simulate the present model, the pressure condition in the nozzle input section or pressure inlet condition and the ambient output section or pressure outlet condition have been used. The nozzle pressure ratio or NPR is equivalent to the ratio of the inlet air pressure of the nozzle to the ambient pressure. Thus, the value of the nozzle pressure ratio in the current system is 1.5 and the amount of inlet air pressure and uh, the pressure at the output uh, are defined to achieve this magnitude. In addition, the inlet airflow has a temperature of 290 Kelvin. The functional structure of nozzle is such that as the fluid enters it and passes through the convergent part of the nozzle, according to the continuity equation, it causes the velocity of the passing fluid to increase by decreasing the cross-sectional area of the flow. And therefore, due to the Bernoulli's law, the fluid pressure decreases with increasing velocity consequently. To analyze this model, parameters such as Mach number, velocity and pressure based on the motion of the fluid flow in the longitudinal direction of the nozzle have been investigated. This figure shows a schematic of the internal structure of a convergent divergent nozzle and its components. The present two-dimensional model is drawn using design modeler software. The geometric structure of the model consists of a convergent divergent nozzle and the throat area as well as a rectangular space containing a nozzle output. It should be noted that in the present model the ratio of the cross-sectional area of the nozzle to the cross-sectional area of the throat area is assumed to be 1.5. This figure shows a view of the geometry. Also, the meshing of the person model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is structured and the element number is equal to 9000. The size of the grids in the area adjacent to the nozzle output is smaller. The right figure shows the mesh of the supersonic nozzle. The present model is steady in terms of time and the time term is not considered in solving the problem. The K omega standard turbulence model for modeling currents and flows including velocity deceleration and separation due to reverse pressure gradients, mixing layer flows and plate and radial jets, high rotational flows and issues related to aerodynamic forces and turbochargers are applicable. And the uh, present model, due to the presence of uh, compressible flow and creating pressure gradient, we use the standard K-omega turbulent model with shear flow correction capability. A disadvantage of a standard two equation turbulence model is the excessive generation of the turbulence energy in the vicinity of stagnation points. In order to avoid the buildup of turbulent kinetic energy in the stagnation regions, two formulations are available in order to limit the production term in the turbulence kinetic energy equations. From the material section, we can see that the fluid is air and also the solid is aluminium. The air density is the ideal gas because the air assumed to be a compressible fluid. Also, the fluid material is assumed to be the air. 
both gauge total pressure and supersonic initial gauge pressure are identified in this section and also the inlet temperature magnitude is equal to 290 degree of Kelvin the nozzle wall right section that is placed in the sore and is in uh, coupling in contact with the surrounding environment is also a stationary wall with no slip and finally the sore boundary condition is pressure outlet we identified the gauge pressure in the specified section the ROEFDS splits the fluxes in a manner that is consistent with their corresponding flux method eigenvalues it is the default and is recommended for most cases we use the hybrid initialization method for this CFT simulation here we can see the density contour the temperature contour the turbulent kinetic energy and also the Mach number contour as the most prominent contour that we can obtain and extract from the CFT simulation as you can see in this contour the yellow color shows the Mach number equal to 1 and uh, every Mach number more than this magnitude uh, make the flow as a compressible flow and causes the shock wave following this path we can obtain the velocity vectors and by doing this method we can obtain and approach the path lines that release from the inlet surface this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and uh, its solution as a review Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at